Finally famous kid. Let's money. get him, Big Sean. Yeah. GLC rotating to the go all the way to the D, baby. Good music. What up, though, Detroit? Yeah. GLC. Big Sean. Now huh. we gon' get it like we should. Okay, 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 okay. okay. And we living real good. Okay. I'm sitting here with Big Sean, up, Detroit's man? finest. How you doing, Big Sean? How you doing? I'm doing great. Fabulous yeah. now that you just ripped the stage down here in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. Man, thank you. It was a good show. It was a great show. Turn out with Great Pride, UNC, Duke, State, Peace. Crazy, crazy girls. Dudes are showing love. Ninth Wonder came out to support it. A lot of people came out, it was fun. Yeah. So let me ask you, Big Sean, mm -hmm. you've been on a crazy grind here for like the past year. Mm -hmm. And I want to ask you, what do you think makes a great artist? What do I think makes a great artist? Mm -hmm. Um, Artistry makes a great artist. Like, being yourself, basically, you know, whatever you do, you just do what you feel. And um, as long as you dig deep enough and just be unique with it, I mean, I, I think that's the way to be a great artist, you know? So on the flip. And, and to um, connect with people with whatever, whatever you're doing. If people can relate to you, that's one of the greatest gifts you know, God can give you to relate to people. So on the flip side of that, what do you think makes a great MC? It just all depends on what type of MC you are. For instance, like Soldier Boy and Eminem, two different kind of MCs, right? Right. They're both great at what they do, though, you know? It's just two different styles, so. Great MC is just whatever you're going for, you're just the best and you're just really good at it. So if you're trying to be a super lyricist, if you're just that good with cutting words and being clever, whatever, whatever, so you'd be a good lyricist. If you're good at just saying how people feel in the middle of a moment, like Soldier Boy, you know, Gucci is to me is a lyricist too. Uh, you know, so you know, I'm getting money, and, you know, all that. That's get it, get but, it, but it, it feels great. Yeah. Drop up by the bed. Swag on. Yeah, so. So, what are you going for? Is Big Sean a great artist or is Big Sean a great MC? I'm both, you know. Um, I, I always was a fan of like MCing and lyricism, but I also love to make music to relate to people. So I'm just going for like whatever people feel. I'm just, basically, I'm just giving everybody my feelings on shit and see how it translates to them, see if they love it. You know, some people love it, some people don't. So, you know, um, I can't wait to drop this album. I think it's really gonna shock the world when I drop it next year. Um, I'm about to drop my first single now, so. Well, speaking of dropping your neck, your face, so you're trying to get music again on the Death Jam. And Death Jam is a classic oh, yeah. label that has put out oh, so many hip hop yeah. albums. But it was 2009, Death Jam, the artists that have put out late art albums on Death Jam, their sales have not been all that great. Not at all. Not at all. I'm happy I didn't come out this year. Right? You know, Death, uh, Rihanna, Little Rue, Lady Unlady uh, Lion, Willie Norfolk. Uh, so based on that in 2010, how are you going to see yourself surpassing that obstacle? Well, see, what I'm doing now is something a lot of artists didn't have a chance to do. I'm touring the whole country. I've been from New York to LA to down south to the Carolinas to the Philadelphia to the West Coast, Texas, Vegas, Michigan, Midwest, Chicago. I've been fortunate enough to go and and hit the underground market first. And it it's so key to be a rapper that you have to have an underground buzz. You have to have a buzz, basically. If you're gonna do great, if you're gonna do big. You know, it's different if you sing songs, and maybe different for an R&B singer, and maybe completely different. But I feel like that's one of the greatest gifts I have. I didn't even drop my first single yet. And I dropped, you know, I dropped a video. I shot, but that video is like two years old. Like, more than that, that song is like three years old. So I don't even know, like, you know, it's just super old. Like, the album sounds like completely different now. I got way better. And like, so I'm just really excited that I even got a chance to just tour, to give people a visual, you know, 
rather it's old or new, it's still a visual. And uh, I'm just excited, man, to try my first single and just really do this. So how do you see yourself standing out from all the other great artists, great MCs on good music and still maintaining your identity as Big Sean as an artist on good music? Man, it's just, you know, um, I think one of the reasons I was signed to good music it wasn't for a fluke. He wasn't looking for a young new rapper. Like when I rap for him, you know, the day I rap for Kanye when he first heard me, I asked, "Are you looking for any new artists?" He was like, "Oh hell, no, I got enough artists." And you know, uh, he kept an open mind though. And, you know, I ended up on good music, and he told me, man, you know, certain qualities I have that he doesn't know anybody who has. And, you know, and it's just like I feel like those certain qualities I have, whether it be. Uh, the way I could put things together, whether it be my voice, whether it be whatever qualities people think I may have and stand out, that's why I stand out on good music, you know, and that's why I look good. And like I said in my records, I always try to relate to people, whether it be um, like hard type stuff, whether it be struggle type stuff, whether it just be partying and fun type stuff. I love whatever it is, I want to relate to you and touch you. And I feel like hopefully I can make the soundtrack to people's lives with this album. So. Things gonna be good. It's gonna be great. Yeah, yeah it's gonna be great. Right, it's gonna be great. And so the album is dropping in 2010, mm -hmm. and uh, we know Yeezy is doing some production on that yeah. album. And I know you've done some work recently with Knife Wonder mm -hmm. as well with that NC Connect. So what other producers are gonna be on that album? Man, we got Kanye. We got the legendary Kanye. The legendary No ID. Um, legendary for real. No, I did it about like four. He rounded up the project. Most he's rounding it up now. Kanye did a couple on there. Well, he did like two or three. Pharrell did one. And now I got also some new producers. People like may not be that familiar with. You know, uh, Right Tracks did a couple on there. They're from Detroit. You know, Cold uh, Production Squad. Um, who else? Uh, producer Chris Leggio from Chicago. You know, a couple different people. Yeah, um, who else on there? Hmm? Oh, almost forgot. My my dogs, the Olympics are on there too. From Detroit. From Detroit. Down with Dustin yeah. McFly in them. Dustin McFly. No, they don't. No, yeah, yeah. Uh, not really. Okay. They're, down. <laughs> they're signed to Rick Ross. Yeah, they are. But they're they're down with Maybach music. That's what they signed to. You know, they got a, they just did a lot of stuff for Ross, new album, Triple C's. Uh, they definitely on my project too strong. Um, some of the best producers I know personally, and they're young too, so. If you pick Wayne's Drake with Jay-Z's J. Cole, mm -hmm. those are two young hungry wolves and they're going neck and neck, mm -hmm. who do you see surpassing the other? Oh no, they're completely different to me. I feel like, you know, 2010 is going to be a big year for all of us. We're all dropping our albums in 2010, so. You know, it's, it's going to be interesting to see what all happens. You know, I feel like Drake's buzz is unbelievable right now. And, uh, man, I couldn't be happier for that, man, you know. I, I listened to a story. I, I heard him talking about, like, man, I didn't know what I was going to do, you know. He was, his show, you know, he had that time on the show that was ending. So, he, you know, that, that, like, series of what the show he was on was ending. So, it was just like, man, just to not know what you're going to do and just to, like, series of events lead you one way to another, one thing to another. That's how like my story is. So I definitely got much respect for him, man. And like, makes me feel good every time I think about a situation, so. You know, all the friends and family I got, I just feel like, man, I'm gonna do great. I'm destined to do great, so I'm gonna just do it. When is the new album dropping? Album's dropping in spring 2010, man. I'm dropping one more mixtape before that, though. All right, so be on the lookout. And that's dropping very, very soon. Catch it at the end of this year, or maybe slash early next year, but very, very soon. So make sure you go download that on youknowbigshine.com. You gonna put it on your website too? Absolutely. NancyOradioShow.com. Y'all know where to find it at. And NancyOradio.com. <laughs> right, that is? NancyOradioShow.com. Oh, NancyOradioShow.com. <laughs> Thank you so too. much, Nancy OTV. Definitely the building. Big Sean, thank you so much. I really appreciate you taking the time to talk. Man, thank you. Right, Nancy OTV, we in the building. Yes, sir.